welcome. Welcome, one and all. Oh, you got a seat for me, nice. Oh, wonderful, yes. Uh, hi, how are you all doing? Oh, I need to have... Oh, okay, I need to have the headset on. Okay. Yes, hello, one and all. It is I, your President AR of the country of... Foompaloom? Yes, it is I, your President, your lovely... What is that, Sandra? Yes, this is called casual formal, or cormal as I call it. Yes, it's very nice, isn't it? What's that? Why I'm not wearing pants? Oh no, you see, this is a, um... Well, I'm not gonna lie to you, I forgot it. Yes, that's a thing, Sandra. You know, I don't need to listen to you. We're here at the Nation of the State address, where we are going to sign off on some laws. Now, the law of the sky no longer exists, or that people can only eat the brown part of the banana. I think that the sky is a better one, because who really wants to eat bananas that are brown? Yes, I say, the sky is fall. That's what I think it is, you know? I've signed up on this law. Now we're gonna go to some questions. Yes, you over there. Since you're moving the sky, the biodiversity has dropped 20%. Uh, no. You see, that's the thing that everyone was worried about. Is that biodiversity will drop by 20% when it is, in fact, more. Thank you very much. Is there a particular reason you've decided the sky no longer exist well <laughs> it wasn't my fault it just grew legs and walked off one day i'm just giving you guys what is best a law for it <laughs> what if i told you we couldn't live without the sky then you sir are fake news because as we all know the sky is just there to reflect the water's color <laughs> ah yeah pretty much it Yes, what about you, Sandra? What do you have to say? Will you also be removing- Okay, listen up. Just because I remove the sky, doesn't mean I'm going to remove the moon. I like the moon. The moon is very ni- You keep your mouth, Sandra. I like the moon. That's enough for that one. Where fake news tries to claim the sky- Okay, well, what did I just say? Spaghetti can only be eaten on Wednesdays, or rich people get free monocles. Well, why would rich people need free monocles when they can just buy it? Emma, Jimmy, you keep your mouth as well. You and Sandra go sit in the corner, alright? I think spaghetti can only be eaten on Wednesdays. And while we're at this, we're gonna change Wednesday to the pronunciation of Wednesday. Look how it's spelt, first of all. It's so stupid. So I'm gonna draw a big meatball on the signature with a bunch of spaghetti. That is gonna be what's going to happen. Anyone have questions? Sandra, what did I tell you? Are there any food restrictions in the pipeline? Well, that's the thing we don't know as a country. We don't know whether foods are made of pipes or they're made of lines. So by you saying pipeline, you're insinuating a lot. So we're gonna come investigate all of these foods. What about you, Jimmy? What about tortellini? Can we still eat it? Alright, well, there is a difference between tortellini and spaghetti. And Jimmy, if you don't know that, you really are dumb. So you do the math, okay? Are you concerned at all how this will affect the meatball population? Well, let's be honest. Meatballs are a side to spaghetti. So I'm just gonna laugh at you. What about all the pasta workers? Won't they lose their jobs? No. While pasta workers will still be making spaghetti, they'll just make it only for Wednesday. So it's not gonna be a lot of spaghetti, but there still will be spaghetti, okay? Why does the ban take place on Wednesdays? I don't like Wednesdays, let's be honest. It's pronounced Wednesdays. Why the heck would you pronounce it Wednesday? Look how it's pronounced, Sandra. Enough of that, we're gonna go ahead Low levels of respect shown for- But that is not what I said, country of Oompha Loompha's. My hips don't lie, or cars can only go fast. Is my hips lying to me right now? I think cars can only go fast. We're gonna put... 
the signature of... I can't lift the pen up, otherwise it's... We're gonna put the signature of Vin Petrol, because I do believe that Vin Petrol does like driving fast. Okay, okay, any questions? Yes! Were you inspired? Of course I was. I love Vin Diesel. That guy is amazing. How will we park if we can't? Jim? Jimmy, come on, man. You don't- you can just switch off your engine. Okay, figure it out, Jim. But sir, won't this increase the number of accidents? It might, but guess what? Nature is a force, that, a force that no one can mess with, let's be honest. So it's natural selection, Jimmy. Wait, you won, Jimmy. Is Red Bull trying to come up with a new sport? Hmm. I should actually contact them. Of course not, Barry. What the heck are you thinking? We're working on big things. I'll just... It's a lie, Barry. Just go with it. Yes, you. What if I don't want to? Too bad. Well... That's enough of that. Fast and the Furious, indeed, it is the inspiration. Now, extra screening on Canadians to prevent syrup smuggling, or what did I say about this law? Who is in the back making me sign this again? Who wants to eat the brown parts of bananas? Was it you? Ben, I'm gonna come over. Ugh. We're gonna, you know what? Syrup is a national treasure. Because we need it on our pancakes. So I'm going to draw some flat stacks of pet. That's it. All right. Don't you dare bring that law back of the bananas. Yes, you. The NSA leaked information about potential syrup being smuggled over the border in hockey pucks. George, as much as I loved you in the ocean movies, that is fake news, okay? How will you address the violent response of the syrup cartel? Well, I don't like- I'm not a fan of building walls, it's just too much effort, so we're gonna have a national pancake day, which everyone can enjoy. If syrup prices rise, we put in our pancakes. Now you see, this is why we are trying to stop smuggling. You're a Canadian, aren't you? Just put peanut butter, it's the same thing. I have Canadian relatives and not capable of su smuggling syrup. John, 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 you are too trusting and you can't see nothing, okay, John? Okay, John. If Canadians are so nice, how can we identify the smugglers? Let's be honest. They're always stuck to the trees because they think that sap is syrup. So they have been dealt with, don't worry about it, by nature. President slams George over fake news. Yes, I did actually do that because George is a little idiot. But now, that's all the time we have for today. I am a very busy president. I have to go get my pants. I have to go buy some new pants. I have to go play counter strike I mean, sign laws. And, uh, deal with the White House. And all you lovely people of whatever country I said this was, I may have thrown the paper away, but all of you beautiful people can go home in your fast cars, enjoy pancakes with your syrup, and make sure that Sandra doesn't ask any more questions, alright? Well, thank you. Thank- I enjoyed this a lot. You better not bring that law to me in my office. I swear. Thank you, all of you. Goodbye. I swear, who the heck wants brown banana parts? Was it you? I'm a slap.